All right, so this is our boat. And this is the old faded plastic. And we're gonna try to uh, torch it. Let me get this, use a heat gun, but uh, I like this. So come in here. You don't want to heat it too much. Just enough. You can always come back over it, so you don't want to cook it. If you leave little blotches, just leave them. You see it starts to get like a really light color, that means you're almost cooking it too much. Might actually be a better way to do it, cause oh wait, yeah, you're less likely to. Might uh, my flames all the way back, so. All right, this is what we ended up with. Pretty good, there's a couple little spots we got it a little too hot, but I'd say all in all, it looks pretty night and day compared to what it looked like before. I don't think there's anything else green plastic on here to compare it to, but maybe the underside. So obviously what it looked like before it faded. It was just very like one side faded, like the, you can see where the sun was hitting it. And I think now it just looks kind of all kind of one color. A little more uniform. Yeah. We'll check back later and see how it, how it fades in. All right. So it's been a couple, about a week or two and we've taken it on the water a couple times already. And this is what it ended up like. Um, Pretty sweet, the camera really picks up like any imperfections, I think, but um, all in all, it, it's way better. This actually probably turned out the best. Um, we actually took a little bit of scotch bright to this before we melted it, just to clean all like the, it was like waxy feeling. Um, but it all turned out pretty good. I mean, I've tried using just like straight armor all on it in the past and within like a couple days, it would be back to exactly how it was when before I put it on. Um, this is obviously a bit more permanent. It's pretty good. It's a little bit blotchy in certain places, and I think the camera really picks it up in person. You like barely see it. It's definitely like two feet away, it looks pretty good. I think if you used a heat gun, you would have better results. Um, you just the slower you go, the better. Um, you can always reheat it and reheat it, but if you burn it, you're kind of in trouble. So. Um, yeah, but I mean, the results are pretty sweet. There's not really much you could do to this other than paint it to get this kind of, um, end result. And I think if you were gonna paint it, it might be worth doing this first because you have nothing to lose. If you're, if you do this and you don't like how it turns out, you can always paint it. Um, it doesn't change anything. The plastic still has the same texture and everything. So but I definitely think this is good enough for me. I don't, um, I think it looks really great. It's just the color pops a lot more, it matches now. That sun faded plastic just doesn't look very good and there's not really much you can do. It just doesn't match after that. So, but this is what you get.